Welcome back, friends. This year marks the inaugural year of the Art of the Ozarks Art Fair. Yes. And it's taking place this weekend. We're so happy to welcome our friends, Laura Inglesby and Grace Huck... Huckfelt. Felt. Huckfelt. Yeah. Thank you. I'm sorry, I did not want to mess it up. That's okay. Good to see you both. You too. Thank okay, you. let's start. I tell you what, starting a new event, inaugural year. Yeah. We love the arts, but that's a lot of work. Tell us about how it came about and the process to get to this point. Well, uh, let's see. We've been talking about it. It's something you know, like I've really wanted to do ever since I started doing them. I was like, oh man, I would really like to plan this event, you know, because I've been to a lot of not great ones. I've been to a lot of amazing ones, and I'd love to like learn from the learn from the not, and you know, yeah. learn from the great, you know, and try and make something for Springfield local artists. Um, we, you know, had noticed that there was a need for something indoors that allowed people to sell their work, you know, mm -hmm. in the fall. Um, you know, we're lucky we've got things like the 100 and Under show with the Arts Council, you know, but it, it kind of limits you there, you know. You can't sell anything over $100, so that's what we were like, yeah, let's, let's create something like that. You know, goal is to start small and just keep plugging away and making it big, you know? Yeah. So making this a, you know, a destination location for art, mm -hmm. you know, in well, Missouri at least. I was gonna say, and there's so much talent here in the Ozarks. So yeah. of Tons. course, like showcase it, get get those yeah. names out there, you Tons. know, get people discovered. Absolutely. It's gonna be a great launching pad for someone's career. Oh yes. yeah, absolutely. So the event is this weekend, tell us how it all works. What's the timeline and what can people expect? Sure, uh, so we're gonna be at Mother's Brewing uh, from 2 p.m. till 8 p.m. on both Friday and Saturday. We're gonna have live music. Uh, different artists throughout the day on both days. We're gonna have food trucks, the Almighty Sando on Friday the 17th, oh. and uh, Lay's Authentic Egg Rolls on the 18th. Uh, they're both gonna be there. T uh, there's a ticket to purchase. Um, tickets are $10. Uh, you get a free drink while you're there. And they're and good for both days. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay, so $10 for both Friday and Saturday. Correct. Yep. So okay. you get live music, you get uh, you know good food, lots of local art supporting you know, everybody in our community. So. Yes. Well, yeah. and we would be remiss not to mention yeah, what so you we, brought here. We've so. also got a silent auction going on. We're going to be uh, supporting Springfield Black Tie. Uh, all the, all proceeds will go to that uh, for that silent auction. Every artist has donated at least one piece, and then other artists have donated additional ones. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you've got two days to bid on some great art, purchase some great art, eat some good food, hang out with friends and family. It's yeah. a totally family-friendly event. Bring the kids, bring grandma. You know? yeah. And when you say art too, there's so many different varieties of art. Like we're looking at a beautiful canvas piece and a bowl. What types of uh, of art sculptures will be there? Uh, so we've got a lot yeah. of everything. everything. We've got, yeah. um, I think, a, a jeweler. Two jewelers. Yeah, wood turning, um, mixed media art, painting, pottery, pottery photography, fiber arts. Yeah. Yeah. Fiber like, arts. A little bit of everything. What is that? So uh, we've got an <laughs> art quilter, so a person who uses quilting as an art form, wow. and these things are amazing. They're beautiful. Mm -hmm. and they're so cool. And then we've got uh, Marsha Menendez, she does uh, sewing, and so she takes different pieces of fabrics and creates her own designs. It's awesome. Wow. But I love and then we've got, yeah. yeah, and then we've got a lady who takes old kimonos and turns oh, yeah. them into functional art pieces. Yeah. It's so they're really cool. cool. Yeah. See, the word art is so broad. That's yeah. what I wanted the viewers to know. It's not just, you think, people think, oh, a piece of art that you hang on the wall. Yeah. There's so much more to it and so many great artists absolutely. artists in the Ozarks doing what they do best. Yes, yeah, absolutely. And why is it important to support the local arts community? Well, local arts, obviously, uh, you are helping support an artist, but art goes so much further. You enrich children, you enrich the elderly, you incorporate, you know, beauty into your community. You, you get to decorate your home. You find something beautiful. <laughs> You're capture, you know, an artist captures their spirit in each piece that they create, and that gets to be shared with you. And that's just an amazing thing. Arts are really important to keep our community like alive and thriving. Uh, exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Well, and with the holidays coming up, and yes. some people are very hard to shop for. You want to be creative with what your gift, you know, you're gifting. This would be a great spot to go and oh, shop. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. You know, and then we, you know, with us having the gallery, you know, downtown on Walnut, you know, you can also some of our artists are going to be there as well. You know, so there's lots of opportunities throughout Springfield in mm -hmm. order to purchase for every price point as well. Absolutely, yes. absolutely. A lot of people might think, oh, original art, I can't afford that, but yeah. there's something for everybody. Got original art for five dollars. I yeah. mean, yeah. that's amazing. Yeah. You can't beat that. You have a one of a kind piece of art for you know such a great price. 
you know, that you can't get anywhere else. Yeah. Yeah, it's so cool. Are you both artists, and if you are, what's your medium? Yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> we do a bit of everything. Yeah, okay. We are both artists. We do a lot. <laughs> I'm just curious what your forte is. Yeah, um, is there something you love? Mine is more painting. Um, hers is more pottery, but we both do both and yeah. mm -hmm. then beyond. So, I'm yeah. just curious. I mean, they're here. We might as well ask them. Yeah. Well, yeah. Maddie and I were thinking about recreating the scene from Ghost with the clay. So. Yeah, with I the think that clay pot. <laughs> come come, come down, down, wheel. Come yeah, down, come on down. <laughs> yes. Okay, for our viewers, one more time, all the information about Friday and Saturday's event. All right. Uh, you, I got you, it. You've got it. All right. Art of, <laughs> it's Art of the Ozarks. We'll be at Mother's Brewing from 2 p.m. until 8 p.m. on Friday and Saturday. Tickets are $10. They can be purchased in advance at www.formgallery.com or you can purchase them at the door. They're good for both days. Get a free drink, good food, music, art. Couldn't ask for more. Fun. Yeah. Couldn't ask for more. A full Great heart. weekend. Yeah. <laughs> thank you guys so much. Ladies, Good to see thank you. you so much. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Best thank of luck, you. and hopefully we'll have you back for the second annual next there year. There we oh, go. Awesome. We can't wait. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> awesome. Thanks. All right, you guys, don't go anywhere. More fun on Ozarks Fox AM coming up. Stay right where you well, are. I need to look at this closer now. Yeah.